Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our Salmon Scott selections for Thursday, December 21st. For again, today's play of the day. Quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in the NBA with the Clippers minus three at minus 115 on DraftKings. It looked like it was going to be a sweat free winner, but then the Clippers almost blew the entire game, but they held on at the end to win. They led by 22 early. Blew the entire lead, but eventually had a big run late in the fourth quarter as they won the game by nine. So nice winner. Look for the winner here on Thursday. And for today's play of the day, going to a matchup between the Pacers and the Grizzlies, taking place at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. After this game, I'm going to go with a player prop. I think John Morant over 28 and a half points at minus 120 on DraftKings. Time recording of 2 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings why we're going to take Jaw over 28 and a half points in this game. First reason Moran did make his season debut on Tuesday against the Pelicans, and he was phenomenal. He had 34 points in 35 minutes, and he also had the game winning shot at the buzzer. But Morant had a little bit of, I'd say, rust early on in that first half. And the second half came around, and he looked like his old self again, and he got whatever he wanted the entire second half. So I do think that Morant is in good form, and I think that should carry over into this game against one of the worst defenses in the league. But to put some numbers to the Pacers' bad defensive reputation, Indiana's allowing 126.4 points per game, which is the second most in the league, and they're even worse defensively on the road. The Pacers are allowing... 132.5 points per road game, which is the most in the league by entire uh, by a wide margin. Uh, it's six more points than the second most. So Indiana defensively on the road is arguably one of the worst defensive teams of all time. And I do think that on a back-to-back -back, since they beat Charlotte yesterday, I know it was easy, but still there is some travel involved with that. It's not the best spot for the Pacers defense to, hit, to stay in front of Jaw and to keep him from wrecking havoc on this defense. But you're looking at Indiana's defensive numbers besides points per game. They're really bad at allowing penetration, and they're really bad at giving up points in the paint. Uh, they're allowing 63.1 points in the paint per game, which is the most in the entire league. And they also foul a ton all the time. Uh, the Pacers are allowing 27.8 free throw attempts per game, which is the most in the league. For reference, by the way, Jaw in his first game back had 12 free throw attempts, and he made 10 of them. But Indiana has nobody that can stay in front of Jaw. They foul a ton. They can't protect the rim. And I think Jaw can get exactly what he did in the second half in the uh, Pelicans game, which is just getting downhill, hitting some floaters near the rim, getting to the lane for some layups maybe, or some and ones. But I do think that Jaw should be able to blow past anybody that's stopping him. The pace should be high in this game as well, since there will be a ton of possessions that's going to help the probability of Jaw going over this number. And for reference, the total in this game is 247 and a half. And Memphis's team total is set at 126 and a half. So you're going to see a lot of possessions, a lot of points. And I do think that Ja, with the high scoring projection for this game, should be able to probably reach 30 in this game. I think he's got a shot for maybe even 40 in this spot. But 34 in his first game in about eight months tells me that he's fully ready to go against this defense in his first home game in about eight months. The atmosphere of FedEx Forum is going to be crazy. I think Jaw's going to be up for it, and I think he's going to deliver. So give me Jaw to go over this point projection. Spoiler that once again, here for Thursday, December 21st, it's going to be on John Morant over 28.5 points at minus 120 on DraftKings.